Hello and welcome to highlights of stage one of the tour of Scandinavia, the Battle of the North, as it's also called. 958 kilometers across six stages in three countries, starting in Denmark and Copenhagen. Katrina Aller of Norway, where the race will finish, was wearing number one. A great field assembled, including Audrey Cordon Rago and the local favorite, Cecily Utrub Ludwig, the Dane, riding a rich vein of success after the Tour de France fam. 145.6 kilometers of weighted the riders, three intermediate sprints, two Cat 3 QOMs, and a finishing circuit, two laps of 14.8 kilometers. Everything pointed to a day for a bunch sprint. They rolled out of Copenhagen. Early sprints were taken by Nina Kessler, first QOM by Femke Geritzer. It was on to Hillerudz, 90 kilometers to go. Alison Jackson taking it from Femke Marcus and Nina Kessler, Nalin Van Royen. Multiple attacks, a very aggressive day on a flat, fast stage. Very rolling though, and a very tough day for the riders. They went through the finish line to start their two finishing loops. There was a category three QOM on the first ascent of the climb on the finishing circuit. Amber Crack, who had scored points on the first climb was being led out by her teammate, Mariana Voss. Behind her, the two uh, Parkertel Valkenberg riders, Femke Heritzer was trying to get on terms. So was Teresa Numanova of Live Racing, but as Voss pulled off, Amber Crack came through for maximum points, but Voss managing to put herself between Crack and Heritzer meant her teammate would finish the day in the Queen of the Mountains jersey, straight over the top, and a textbook trademark. Florentia Mackay attack at the front, started to put some riders into difficulty at the back. This would be the first of many attacks. It was a very fast flowing run in towards the finish, a real drag race, but without the big name sprinters, such as Lorena Vibas, Mariana Voss would ultimately be the favorite. Intermediate sprint with one lap to go. Alison Jackson took maximum points. That would put her into the points jersey at the end of the day if she could finish well. Onto the climb for the final time. And it was Damie Vollering who went on the attack. Florentia Mackay, straight on her. Liana Lippert, Jana Korova, also up there. Vollering and Mackay, two strong riders to try and go clear on the finishing circuit. Tight right-hander at the top. Teammate of Florentia Mackay and Liana Lippert was on the front of the group behind Voss and Utra Ludwig recognized the danger of Vollering and Mackay going clear. They came across, but this would unfortunately just close that gap and bring everything back together. Trek Segafredo had been the dominant lead out on the run in towards the finish. Chloe Hoskin was trying to lead out for Danish rider Amelie Dierdrichsen. She launched first. Barbara Gorishki was also there. Mariana Voss came through, but right on her wheel as well was the young American Megan Jastrub. Voss took the win ahead of Jastrub with Shari Bosite, the Belgian from Canyon Shram, taking third. After being disqualified for an infringement in Vogada at the weekend, all was good in the world again as Mariana Voss came through to take the victory. A three-time winner of the Ladies Tour of Norway, which this race has grown out of. She starts the first ever tour of Scandinavia with a stage win and the first yellow jersey. Breakthrough performance though, you've got to say in second place for Megan Jastrub. So close to Marina Voss. Vossite takes third. Riedemann, Kimiega, Didrikson, the whole spot inverted. Zolo and Stagenga, your top 10. Another day, another great victory for the Jumbo Visma rider, Marianna Voss, the greatest of all time. We affectionately call her and deservedly so her 245 Pro victory and that yellow jersey to start stage two. Join us for more action tomorrow as we head to Sweden.